Mealybug is an important insect pest of cassava in Thailand. Adult mealybugs can lay 100 to 500 eggs in egg sacs, which develop into the first nymphal stage within 8 days. The nymphs molt 3 times, so the insect has a life cycle of 21 days. The mealybugs are transferred from plant to plant by ants or wind. The insects dwell under the leaves and suck plant sap. Mealybugs spread in dry and warm conditions. They are able to damage cassava fields in a short period of time. As an alternative to chemical insecticides, entomopathogenic fungi, including Bovaria bassania, can be used as a natural means of insect control by using topical application of fungal spores. Bovaria spores land on the mealybugs. With high humidity, spores germinate and penetrate the insect cuticle. The early infection cells, called hyphal bodies or blastospores, are formed inside. Inside the insect body, the innate immune system is ready to defend against the invading pathogens. Insect hemocytes would be a major line of defense. On the fungal side, secondary metabolites play crucial roles in insect pathogenesis, such as avoiding the insect immune response or as toxins for killing insects. Our previous phylogeny identified two polyketide synthase genes highly conserved for entomopathogenic fungi, including PKS3 and PKS2b. We are also studying the roles of a non-ribosomal peptide synthase gene, FER-S, in insect pathogenesis. PKS3 consists of ketosynthase, acetyltransferase, and acylcarrier protein, the three principal domains. PKS2b is similar to PKS3, except it does not contain the anoyl reductase domain. The non-ribosomal peptide synthetase, FER-S, is arranged in a modular structure. Each module consists of adenylation, thiolation, and condensation domains. We studied the function of the three genes by disrupting each gene with a selectable marker. When the selectable marker interrupts the DNA strand, the translated protein becomes truncated and non-functional. You can see that the tie boxer is now tied up, the soldier's gun is broken, and the drill is broken. Fungal PKS3 presumably acts to cope with the insect immune response. In the wild type, the fungus can overcome the insect defense and the infected insect dies. The PKS3 null mutant, in which this polyketide synthase is not working, cannot cope with the insect immune response, so the insect remains healthy. We determined the insect virulence between Bovaria wild type and the PKS3 null mutant using intrahomocelic injection of fungal spores. The results showed that the wild-type injection resulted in 100% death, whereas injection with the mutant spores caused only 60% of the insects to die. The amoeba, used as a model, has analogous properties to the insect hemocytes. The amoeba often phagocytosed only 1-2 to two wild types blastospores. The blastospores survive within the amoeboid cell and grow out, which leads to the amoeboid's death. By contrast, 3 to 5 of the PKS3 null mutant blastospores could be phagocytosed and most were degraded by the lysing enzymes. Here, we have demonstrated that the mutant is unable to suppress the insect immune response, in this case, phagocytosis by hemocytes. PKS2b might work together with PKS3 in defending against the insect immunity, or it could be a toxin that can subdue and kill the insect. Similarly to the PKS3 study, 
The PKS2 being all mutant cannot help the fungus to overcome the insect defense or does not produce the toxic molecule, so the inoculated insect survives. We tested the insect virulence in a similar way to that conducted for the PKS3 study. Only 40 to 80 percent of insects injected with the PKS2B null mutant died. Again, 100 percent of wild-type injected insects died. Most likely, PKS3 and PKS2B genes from Bovaria are involved in suppression of the immune response system of insects, while FERS gene may associate with fungal germination.